all those challenges means opportunities for businesses. If there's no housing, who's going to become the housing billionaire to create houses for these 800 million people? If there's no gar garbage collection, how do you become the garbage billionaire as people move into the cities? How do you design technology to make traffic move better? How do you think about designing smart cities with driverless cars and smart mobility and all these things, IO, Internet of Things? Can you imagine? It's, we're urbanizing at the fastest rate in the world, faster than China and India ever did. We are going to be 40% of the world's population by the end of the century. The average age of an African is 19. We're the youngest continent in the world. Urbanization, there are 800 million people who are going to move into cities in Africa in the next 40 years. Something like 60% of the world's arable land that has not yet been cultivated is in Africa. Why are we spending $50 billion importing food? These are big, big issues that we need to solve in Africa that really matter, right? It's not just dancing and TikTok and taking selfies for, Alison, are you on Instagram? How many followers do you have on Instagram? Do I have Instagram? Yeah. <laughs> How many followers? Tell us. 1,900. Wow, 1,900, eh? <laughs> influencer. <laughs> Please do not go and be an influencer, guys. The world needs you to solve these much more important problems. <laughs>ALU is asking really important questions about education, in particular education at scale, and education with a huge impact. And we believe that responsibility is ours as a higher learning institution. Hence why this focus on experiential learning. I knew ALU would be a place where I can have a lot of autonomy with how I want my educational experience to be. I feel like in high school, it's driven a lot by the teachers. So then when you come to ALU, you have to learn how to teach yourself. I am passionate about learning new things and I always find that uh, I learn better by doing. So that's mostly why I love this program because we're actually practicing the things we're learning. The first year foundation model and the three years with my degree business management, I knew there was space to really co-create this experience with not just the faculty but the institution and the networks around it. I'm joining my third year right now in ALU and so far it has been exactly that. ALU is asking the right questions, the questions that American higher education is typically too cautious to ask. This question of what is experiential learning? What role can experiential learning play? Is there really a way to drive down the cost? And how does it create transformative educational and learning experiences for students? Is the model of students sitting in a classroom uh, or just reading the right model. What's the impact you want to have in the world? Can they build an education around a mission? And how can ALU not confine you to the rules and the way we think that learning should happen, but how does ALU help you open the world in a way that allows you to make the impact you want to have? One thing I love about ALU is that it gives you the space to grow. So it's not rigid. You get that, the chance to pursue what you want and you have so many avenues and structures supporting you in that endeavor. So that inspiration, like whatever degree you choose at the end of the day, it guides you to stay true to yourself. And that's why the missions, not majors, is a very fundamental aspect to LU because it helps you to now tie all your knowledge and experience to something that you're passionate about.
So the way we are set up now is that we want our students to come for their first trimester at ASU on one of the main campuses. So either you come to the African Leadership University in Rwanda or to the African Leadership College in Mauritius, you do your first trimester there. But then from there on, go back to your country, you take courses from there, you feel like going to Ghana now for another course and then you go to Ghana because you have an ALU hub there. Next thing you know you want to go to South Africa because there's a hub in South Africa. And then they get to go to Kampala and then they get to go to Lagos and they get to piece together this pan-African experience that isn't just about being in one place and learning but it's actually about understanding how place drives community, what problems and challenges exist, how solutions look different. It really connects us to different countries in Africa and also outside of Africa by going to one of these hubs that we are setting up in different cities. As I speak right now, we have a hub in Kampala, we have a hub in Kigali, we have a hub right here in Silicon Valley. Got to work with African Leadership University through a partnership with the foundation to try to create a program for emerging young people in college to think about entrepreneurship and ethical leadership and to give them an experience here in Silicon Valley. We will also have what we call specialization hubs, similar to what we have here in Silicon Valley. So in this hub, obviously, there's a huge focus on entrepreneurship and technology. I do want to say that the opportunities that the hub has presented are unparalleled. Like, I would have never, ever gotten those opportunities back home. But with the hub in Silicon Valley, this is the first time that it happened. And it's a very wonderful tool for us to leverage networking. When you have diversity of different people coming in together, especially in our age where we're trying to figure out what career do you want to do? Do you want to pivot? Do you want to do the same thing that we're doing? When we get those certain different perspectives of people from education, people from nonprofit, people from businesses, people who are like Shark Tank um, um, VCs and angel investors. It's really nice being in a setting where you see things from the other side. We've been looking at it from within Africa, looking out, and now we're out looking in. And those contrasting parallels, they really help bring like a holistic view to what we're trying to do. We have a long way to go to really understand how to leverage the power of young people. And my hope is that this program and this partnership between Carnegie and African Leadership University and College Track is, is one model or one example of how we can do that. We're very lucky that we have partners who have been very supportive, like the MasterCard Foundation, like the Carnegie Foundation here, who are excited to walk with us on this journey and we're looking to build similar partnerships with other institutions across the world because you know we, our aspiration as the African Leadership University is to truly become a global institution, have a global footprint. American higher education should look at this. Uh, we, we shouldn't assume always that innovation comes from the Stanfords of the world. And when I look at what the experience students are having here and the, the experiences that I see students starting to craft in this new learning model, I start to really get excited about what the capacity is to do this work and to have this kind of impact at scale. And we are not just changing the life of these people. We are changing the life of their families. We are changing the life of the people that live around their families. And so the multiplier effect of what we are doing, if we can trade three million leaders, we are not going to improve the life of three million people. We are going to improve the life of many, 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 many more people. I just feel like the experience, I can take it with me and impart it on someone else. I feel like I'm, I'm always about paying it forward. So what I learn here is going to go to someone else through me. And I'm just very grateful for that. That's, that's what this hub represents. Like I feel we are the first of many who will come and help change Africa from within Africa and the diaspora like here.